Aortic valve is the valve between the left ventricle and aorta. Left ventricle is the lower left chamber of the heart. Aorta is the largest blood vessel carrying oxygenated blood to the whole body from the left ventricle. Normally, the aortic valve has three semilunar leaflets. Bicuspid aortic valve is a birth defect in which aortic valve has two leaflets instead of three. It is the commonest birth defect of the heart and can occur in about 1 in 100 individuals. Bicuspid aortic valve can have a leak known as aortic regurgitation or a narrowing known as aortic stenosis or a combination of both. Another important association is aortopathy or disease of the aorta. Aortopathy can lead to enlargement of the aorta in the long run. This is thought to be due to a weakness in the wall of the aorta. Both aortic regurgitation and stenosis can also progress in severity as age advances. Some without significant stenosis or regurgitation can be asymptomatic for long periods. In any case, those found to have a bicuspid aortic valve need long-term follow-up. Echocardiogram or ultrasound study of the heart is useful in assessing progressive enlargement of aorta as well as the stenosis and regurgitation of aortic valve if present. Aortic enlargement has a small risk of breaks developing in its wall in the long run. If a break is only in the inner layer, it is called aortic dissection and is a serious condition as it can progress along the extent of the aorta and compromise blood flow to vital organs like brain and heart itself. Very rarely, the break can extend through and through the aortic wall. Then it is called an aortic rupture which could be immediately fatal due to severe blood loss. Both these conditions need very urgent surgery for saving life. Fortunately, they are rare complications.